I'm back on Snagit. I'm going to continue with my text. So notice here, I want to write Snagit Editor. I've got my color over here, but I want to change the size. So I'm just going to go into the size over here and notice it's 11111. I'm going to change that. So take a look at what I'm doing. I'm going to go through there and just write the number 300 because I know that's the maximum you can write. If you want to add 500, it's not going to work. Okay, it goes back to 300. So that's just something that I learned. All right, so I'm going to highlight it go back to 300 because that's the only way it's going to work in this case and then i'm going to move it all right because i want two rows here and i don't want it to be used here and i notice um what's going on if i want two rows i need to make this one smaller so notice uh, i've got two here so let me minimize that okay so there it is i can also minimize it here so that i get everything centered perfectly right now it's centered how did i get it centered i got it centered with the words right here let me show you i don't like reading a manual otherwise i would point you to a manual the best way to learn as i've said in my previous youtube video on snagit and other youtube videos is to experience it nothing like experiencing something so notice i'm going to go into advanced click on it so that I can center it and you'll see other things that you can do here. So here's your editor for centering. Notice it's centered. This is the line width. Okay, so again, I'll need to uh, click on it to get the line width. Font size, we've got line width. Notice what's happening here. It's not nice. It's going with the outline. That's the width that you're seeing. You can also do it from over here. So let me show you how that's done. There's the line. Okay, so you can also do it from here. Okay, it's 9.3 right now. You can also go to the size and do it over here, but notice 300 is the only thing, so you can just go down. And when you do go down, it goes down to under 150. So 150 is the most that you can play around with this. So let's go back to our 300 because that's what I want it to be. There we go. All right, so if you like the white, okay, that's the outline over here. If you want it in white or if you want it in pink or... That takes up everything because we've got it. Notice right now we've got it really, really high at 9.3. But if I lower it, notice what happens. Okay, it's there, but isn't it beautiful? It's just a little outline. Very delicate. Okay, if you know something about art, you'll know that that's a great... Let's make it purple. See how the purple goes? Okay, that's the delicate one. If you make it a lot, it's just going to take over. Notice, okay. That's a lot, so I'm just making it a little bit. That's the purple. Notice what else you can do. There's the green. Really nice. So you've got to find, you can all, you've got your color picker here, so you can choose a color from here. And then if you want to save it, now this is really cool. If you want to save it, you can also save the color by clicking on the plus. Okay, there's a plus down there that you click on, and then that gets your color. That These are just shadows again. Okay and uh, the outline so uh, i'm gonna put the outline as white and um I'm going to there we go get rid of it so we don't see it so again if you want to see the white okay the outline you increase the line width and there okay and in case you missed that it's over here the line width for the outline not the shadow if you want to see what shadow looks like you click on the shadow and then you can see it i'm not going to do it you can also go into properties which is get rid of it or bring it back okay so again properties you can hide it and unhide it right now it's not hidden there hide it you can also go to effects okay these are the different effects that you can have let's go back to the properties that's where i like to be all right so we've got snag it Notice also the tools at the top. You'll have to learn them as well. We'll get to them next time. So we are here under the text. All right, so here's the text, the eight. And I want snag it, and I want another row. Remember, I want a second row with another color, even though I can put the color under this one, but I don't want to have that space. I want to decide on the space. So next, I'm going to change the color to notice i've got my my colors there's the plus that i was telling you about if you go to the file color picker 
and you pick a color, you add it that way. So let me show you how that's done. I'm going to choose, uh, what color can I choose? This color. Okay, and then I'm going to add it to the plus. So I'll have it under my colors. Isn't that neat? Okay, so there we go. I don't want that color. Sorry. I've got my favorites. I use them over and over again. Just kind of funny. So there it is. Editor. I wasn't sure whether to call it an editor or a tool. There again, I can put it like this and kind of get it in the middle. Or I can simply put it to the frame and then it'll be centered because I'd set that up, if you remember, under advanced on the right here. There's the, I can also change, of course, it to bold. Okay, so there's the center. It's centered. I can also decide if I want it in the middle, top, bottom, and so on. All right, and opacity. Okay, but remember, I need to hover over it at this point. Pay, how pay? There's the aerial. If I want to make it opaque or less opaque. Okay. All right, so I think that's it. Next, what am I going to do? I've got two options. Okay, I can actually go over here and then just go into my snag it at the top menu under edit and just copy it click on the copy and then add it wherever I want it or I can go to the file at the top and save as what I usually do is save as now notice my options here I'm going to give it a name save as editor okay there we go and I notice it says auto save caption I don't like it there I prefer I'm on a Mac, remember. I prefer to have it in my downloads. You can have it anywhere. You can have a special place for all your Snagit's. All right, so there's my Snagit. Oops, notice I did that. Let me go into Edit and undo that. Still there. Oh, that's because I'm screen sharing and the editor is on. Okay, there it's gone. I think I might want to move that a bit and move this down a bit. Okay, play around with it. You can also have two in a line. All right, I think that's good enough. Our next video is going to be about capturing an area on your screen.